What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Christian Hannah Har here. We're gonna start the week off with boots on the ground. We're gonna keep things going and we're gonna do ranking the big three slasher part sevens. So when you get to a point like this, it's really gonna come down to personal preference with these movies because these movies are, you know, these, these franchises have had ups and downs, lefts and rights. So when you get to the seventh entries in a franchise, they're either gonna be really hit and miss with people. And I'm gonna have my opinion on these three. So we're gonna rank these right now. So coming in at number three for me is going to be Halloween H2O. Now when it comes to Halloween H2O, I really think it's a, for lack of a better word, a well-made movie. It's just a couple things that I really don't like. Number one is just the era. I'm not a big fan of the post-Scream era. There's some really good movies from this, but just, it's not Scream's fault. It's the fact that everything needed to be like Scream. That just kind of irks me and just really feels disingenuine to me. Even though Kevin Williamson himself is writing the script, I kind of wish Kevin would have taken things in a little bit more direction character-wise, dialogue-wise. Not necessarily not be true to the times, but just kind of spice things up a little bit more because I call it Hollow Scream H2O. Another thing that I don't love about the movie is Laurie Strode in the movie. I, I gotta be honest, I much prefer the character of Laurie Strode in this recent reboot of Halloween because her character was a little bit more subdued, more quiet, more vulnerable, yet strong, and you really could get into her soul a little bit more. In this movie, she's a little bit more pompous, more, you know, shoulders up a little higher, nose up a little higher, loud mouth, kind of mean, and it was just hard for me to really get behind her character, and that's kind of a petty argument to say, but it's how I feel, so I really do prefer Lori in the later remake that we just had as opposed to this H2O movie. Another thing that I really can't forgive about this movie, and don't worry because Halloween 4 did it too, now fortunately it wasn't as prominent in the movie, but you know, there were issues with the masks in this movie, and there's actually a scene in this where they have a hologram mask, a CGI mask in a scene. That's just unforgivable to me, guys. This is a multi-million dollar movie. Have the right masks on set. This is completely uncalled for. This, this stuff can't happen. It's just unforgivable to me. You know, obviously, like I said, Halloween 4 did it with a pink mask, but fortunately, with the lighting and things going on, it wasn't as noticeable. Quite honestly, I didn't really notice it till watching behind the scenes special features when they talked about this. But a CGI mask in a movie, come on guys, we could do better than that. With that being said though, Halloween H2O is still a fun movie to watch, there's no denying that. There's some really good suspense in this movie. I do like the son in the movie a lot, John is a very likable character in this movie. And some of the kills are pretty cool. The final sequences between Jamie and Michael is fun to watch, don't get me wrong. It's pretty awesome. So coming in at number two for me is going to be Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood. What's really great about Part 7 is John knew that we had to do something different, but he took calculated risks. We know that the magic of these movies is being in the woods at Camp Crystal Lake, and that's what's so fun and identifiable about Friday the 13th, but adding an element and bringing the elements to Jason is what John did. There is a point where you have to stop plausibility and say, okay, telekinesis, a zombie guy resurrecting, being underwater for a long time, that's okay, because we're at the part seven of a slasher franchise, so that's something you can let go. And John Carl, I think, did a really, really good job on the new blood. To me, it's one of the high points of the Friday the 13th franchise. We also get the introduction of Kane Hodder in this movie, and while he's not my number one favorite Jason, it would be ridiculous to say he is not one of the most favorited and popular Jasons in the entire franchise, and it's for good reason. He's very identifiable. When he's got the suit on, you know it's him. Also, the characters in this movie is fantastic. I love the different characters. They're all there, they're all accounted for, but they have good lines and roles in this movie, and every one of them is fun to see on screen. Jason's kills get very creative in this movie. He's got some really fun stuff with party poppers and weed whackers and also the introduction of the character Dr. Cruz. That's a really fun character to have because you finally have this real real mean antagonist in this movie. We had characters like this before but not to the level of Dr. Cruz I think who was very vindictive and you just really hated him. I love seeing him on the movie because it's just I like the bad guys in movies a lot but Bad News Cruz, Dr. Cruz is awesome in this movie. I love his character. So coming in at number one for me guys, uh, it was tough to go between Friday the 13th and New Nightmare but I am gonna have New Nightmare at number one. Unlike Halloween H2 Oh, New Nightmare is a movie I like more as time goes by as opposed to liking it less as time goes by as with H2O. It's a lot of the little things that I love about New Nightmare. One of my favorite scenes in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise is when Heather's doing that television show and Robert comes out dressed as Freddy and you see that slow-mo shot of his hands doing this 
and then there's the light behind them. Great cinematography, great stuff by Wes Craven and the crew. I just love that scene. And I love where you get to see what their real life personas are supposed to be like. It's fun seeing Robert after the talk show signing autographs for all the fans and the kids are going crazy and then you see Heather like, come on, let's go. Which I don't fault her for feeling like that if in real life if that's the case too because I can imagine fans all the time could be really daunting. But I love seeing Robert England be himself in this movie. It makes me like him even more and I do think he is probably one of the most genuine for his fans. Some of the end sequences in this movie really, really grow on me. I love when you see them fall out of that big Freddy mouth into that ruin-like looking temple. Just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. This movie, unfortunately, did not get the press release and the love that it did when it came out, but I do think that was because the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise really ran its course. You just had a movie called Freddy's Dead, and the title New Nightmare doesn't exactly let you know really what's going on. So I think a lot of people might have been confused, weren't sure what was going on, or just didn't go see the movie at all. The movie did have fairly good reviews, but it just didn't garner the attention that it did. But that's okay, because now it's a cult hit, it's a cult favorite, and New Nightmare is a really fun entry in the franchise. That's ranking the big three slasher part sevens for me. It really comes down to personal taste at this point because it's the part sevens in these franchises so they're going to be different. They're not going to be as pure as the part ones and part twos even. So can't wait to see what you guys say in the comment section below. Please let me know your ranking of these movies. Also be sure to check my description where you can become a new patron. I've got some really great tiers in there where you guys can hear all the behind the scenes music that I make myself for my channel. And you can also check out my Teespring. You guys can rock Christian Hannah Horror merch wherever you go. I plan on making even more designs very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Get ready for Halloween because we're getting close. See you guys later.